Now let's discuss about the two equivalent versions of the fifth Euclid's postulates. For every line L, you can see L. For every point P, this, this one is P, not lying on L, there exists a unique line passing M through P and parallel to L. The two distinct intersecting lines cannot be parallel to the same line. And all the atoms to prove the fifth postulate of Euclid using the first four postulates and the other axioms as theorem actually it has been failed. But those efforts lead to the creation of several other geometries called the non-Euclidean geometries. Now let's discuss about the Euclid's axioms. Things which are equal to the same things are also equal to one another. So this is a point which we must have in mind in terms of Euclid's axioms. The other statement is that if two equals are subtracted from equals, then the remainders are equal. And the next one is that if two equals are added to equals, then the holes or things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. So these are some of the statements in terms of Euclid's axioms. We have a continuation for Euclid's axioms that are the whole is greater than the part. Things which are double of the same things are equal to one another. And the things which are half of the same things are equal to one another again. Theorems are mathematical statements which are proved using definitions, axioms and already proved statements and deductive reasoning. Let's have an example in terms of Euclid. So if A, B, C are three points on a line and B lies between A and C, then we got to prove that AB plus BC equal to AC. So let's go with the solution. As per the question, we have mentioned a line with three points by keeping B that is lying between A and C. In the figure given above, AC coincides with AB plus BC. Also, Euclid's axiom says that things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. As per the Euclid's axiom statement, it can be deduced that AB plus BC equal to AC. We got to note down this one in terms of solution that is nothing but the assumption that there is a unique line passing through two points. Let's go with the next example. We got to prove an equilateral triangle can be constructed on any given line segment. So this was one such question in terms of statement. In the statement above, a line segment of any length is given. We can consider it and say as PQR. So we have drawn a line segment P and Q. Here you need to do some construction that is in order to make an equilateral triangle. Now we go to draw the line segments PR and QR in order to form a triangle that is equilateral. So we need to have to prove that this triangle is equilateral which can be implied as PQ equals to PR equals to QR. So this PQ which will be equals to PR and that is equals to QR. So if three sides are equal then it is equatorial triangle. By proving PQ equal to PR equal to QR it's proven that the triangle PQR is an equatorial triangle. Hope you got a clear idea of Euclid's geometry.
Thank you for watching this from GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Thanks again.